in the last lecture, we talked about the different ways of organizing, line and staff, functional organizations, uh, multi-divisional organizations, matrix organizations. Underlying all of those discussions was this problem of who has the authority to do what and who has the responsibility to deliver what. In other words, how does one, how does an organization, but whenever you're in a position to try and set some standards, how do you how do you make an organization work in such a way that people know what they're allowed to decide and what they're allowed to do, clearly, the authorities that they have, and what it is that they particularly are accountable for, what they're responsible to deliver, and what if they don't deliver it, they would there would be organizational consequences. In other words, you are a part of this organization, and in return for being a part of this organization, the paycheck, the benefits, the cultural environment, and all that, in return for being part of the organization, you are expected to do certain things. You have certain responsibilities. You're, certain, you're supposed to deliver certain things. What are those things, and how do I know for sure what I'm going to be measured on? Those are the ideas of authority and responsibility. Essentially, organizations decide we simplify it here by making it look like all decisions are the same. But decisions vary. But in general, we decide on whether you decentralize decisions or whether you centralize decisions. That is, whether or not you're, just, you're allowing organizations to have the authority to take resources that are part of the, the, the uh, collective organizational resource pool and apply them to certain problems or situations. That is can ask somebody sitting over there to go and do this work, and that person then becomes responsible for delivering it. You have the authority to take a resource paid by the organization, and you take you will become the point person who assigns that person a role, and so they have to perform that task as part of their responsibilities for the organization. How does one move that process down the line? How does one decide which person has that authority to make the decisions about resources. Now, this is all kinds of resources. It could be human resources. It could be the organization's space or real estate. It could simply be time. It could be money. It could be reputation or brand. There's all sorts of possible types of, uh, of resources and capabilities. Resource capabilities are a type of resource. I can deliver a new product. I have the capability as an organization to de design and develop a new software platform. Who decides to take that group of 15 or 20 people, some of the highly paid people in the organization, and assign them the task of developing this product or service? That is a huge commitment of resources for the organization, and somebody takes that on their shoulders, and that becomes something that they are responsible for delivering. That's the decentralization versus the the centralization problem, making those decisions. The organizational structures we define relate specifically to those in the line. It's very clear that down the line, uh, people are assigned certain tasks. They're broken up into smaller ones. The person down the line or lower in the management then assigns new tasks to them in those lines. Those people assign tasks in other lines. So it's pretty clear how it goes down the line. Functional organizations, general managers, uh, or I'm sorry, functional managers have the responsibility for certain functions. People have to decide how those functions fit together. So that's that authority, the authority for the overall organization stays, the responsibility and accountability stays at the top. When you push it down into a divisional kind of organization, then all of the pieces come together at that divisional general manager, which is why they're called a general manager. That means you have responsibility for all functions in some particular area. So that's what this process is all about. It's one of the hardest, most complex areas in business, figuring out how to do that, how to delegate and how to delegate well. And we'll talk more about that when we talk about the leadership and the culture in, a later, in uh, later lectures. Um, but first, what we want to talk about in the next lecture is how we capture some synergies from various kinds of decentralization and partnerships. And that's what we'll talk about in our next lecture.